Hey everyone, good morning. Um, so in this video, I'm going to be telling you a little about and showing you a little bit of the elderly feeding program in action here in Hummingbird Valley in Sunan. And at, we're actually at the same location where we did the uh, dog clinic the other day. And so we have about um, 15, about 15 elderly folks gathered here. And they also have the help of some, some family members um, to help them carry the stuff. So we're giving out um, food stuffs. In fact, what I'm gonna show you. They're getting, they're getting some staples for the month. Uh, some corn, um, rice, sugar, eggs, pasta, oil. And these, uh, these are people who are, uh, yeah, experiencing some pretty, pretty extreme poverty. Um, a lot of times they're not being supported by their families, not because their families are bad, just because their families are also extremely poor. Like, you have um, one woman who's blind and she's just, she's only supported by her daughter, her daughter-in-law. Her husband and her son both passed away, and so it's just the two of them. And so, you know, they're doing the best that they can, and so this is, as we like to say, we're just giving them, like, a grain of sand, a grain of sand for the elderly to help them. So um, let's let's take a, let's take a quick look. Good morning, everyone. So I also want to say I also want to say to Gloria. Is doing some, we've got the food over there. So we, they each have their own um, baskets. It's Emily, I know her from the center. These are some really sweet, 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 sweet humans. Mm. So this gentleman here is actually where I adopted Sarah from. So Bronco came today. Bronco's over there. So this man, his his mother is um, like blind and pretty much crippled, and so he's coming and, and taking this up. And I don't know his situation, but he um, is not able to work. So, or, you know, sometimes, adios. Hey, hey, gracias, amigo. Buenas tardes. Por favor, decir hola a tu esposa para mí, ¿ok? Sí, sí, sí. Y gracias todavía por decirla. Y um, a veces ella viene a tu casa. ¿Sí, ya viene? Sí, sí. Dale vuelta, sí. Sí, qué bueno, sí. qué bueno. Sí, sí. sí. Su, su uh, hijo está allá. Sí, ya El negro. ¿Está bien? Sí, ya Sí, de acuerdo. Gracias por cuidarlo. Gracias. Sí, pues, yeah. Oh, bueno. Yes, yeah, so, yeah. so we got eggs, we got some good stuff. There are a few who weren't able to come today, so we are probably going to go to their houses and do deliveries because a lot of them, some of them are like really sick, can't really walk. Um, I am so surprised that Bronco was so willing to come back here, considering this was like the location where he had his his spay, his, his spay, his spaying, his neutering getting done, and he's just so happy to just come on, come on back. So, so yeah, you know, I am. Um, I appreciate, you know, some of you threw in some donations when I opened up my personal PayPal for the puppies and the elderly. Um, and so I think I'm, I, I would like to start seeing if I can, I'd like to start opening up, especially if I'm working with Daisy in the nonprofit. We just haven't really gotten that conversation going yet because she was traveling and she was sick and just all these things. But it, it, the project is becoming, has become more expensive since we added a few more elderly and all of the prices from inflation went up. So. I don't want to drop it. In fact, we had the question of because all the prices went up, do I do I pay more money or do we reduce the amount of food that they're getting? Um, gracias, amigo. Gracias, amigo. Buena suerte. Buena suerte. Yeah. Nos vemos. Okay. Gracias. 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 Adios, She's taking the food on her house. Adios, Emily. See you later. Hasta lechuga. <laughs> Stella. Sometimes ella quiere dar un, un abrazo. Un este. So, yeah. ¿Cómo? Eva.
Me llamo Eva, te llamas Emily. Estamos amigas. Eh, porque muchas nos gracias, nuestra adoración. Gracias, Dios le bendiga. Gracias, muchas gracias. Adiós. Otra ocasión. Y agradezco al Señor y agradezco por ti. Gracias. Dios le bendiga. Gracias, Señor. Adiós. Otra ocasión. Y gracias por su trabajo en la comunidad. Yo sé que ustedes tienen mucho trabajo y ustedes están haciendo mucho con la gente. Gracias. Dios le bendiga. Gracias. Igualmente. Gracias. 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 Right. So, that could be your grandmother, you know? Great, great. And there's Pascual, the guardian of the space. So, so you know, this Hotel Chocomil, you know, remember how it looks now because, you know, I'd like to think that over time we're going to see this change and this is going to be oops, the space where we're going to be doing some great work like this. And so I just want to say thank you for being a part of this channel. Thank you for watching. Thank you for caring. Thank you for being emotionally invested to the extent that you are in my story and what we're doing here. And you know, I know that I haven't always, you know, I haven't always. Eh. Adios, 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 amigo. Ciao. Buena suerte. So he's like a local, like minister. Like, like he he does a lot of praying with his community. And he's like in his 80s. Isn't that, isn't that crazy? He's just able to carry the stuff on their head like that. So. Um, so yeah, you know, I, I know that I always, I, oh yeah, by the way, do you like my, my garb? So this is a traditional Mayan outfit. Um, Gloria's mother actually wove this for me. So I thought I would wear it today to hope, with the hope that the elderly would get kind of like a kick out of, you know, this little white girl dressing, dressing like them. So Gloria's mother made this for me. She wove this for me. It's not like she went and bought the fabric and cut it and sewed it together. She literally, with a backstrap loom, like wove the threads together to form this. And then these, um, you see this pattern here in these triangles. This is actually the, um, the symbol of the volcanoes. You know, the volcanoes you see across the lake. So the, tri the, the village, the tribe, they, they associate this iconography. Oh, thanks, Roger. What elderly, mature adults, can we say? The mature adults, the wise ones, the, the most valuable members of our community who have the most to offer, you know? So um, I realize that normally they wear like a black skirt with it. So I'm like coming in essentially without like a skirt on, which I feel really funny about. But you wanna know what's also cool? So like, so we gather and then, um, like while they're, like Gloria was like setting up the table with this stuff. Hey, there's Gloria, gracias Gloria, eres la mejor. Um, I pulled out my ukulele and I, I played some of my songs for them. And I tried to like, I tried to translate, like this is a song that wishes that all beings in the world are happy and free. And I played that song, and then I played another song, the Gayatri Mantra, and I was like, this is like a, a song for all of us to find our highest path. Gloria, Gloria, come, come. I just want to say, gracias a Gloria por su trabajo, gracias, gracias por su corazón, la gente puede ver que esa es una persona muy buena. Gracias. Muchas gracias. Y de nada. Me gusta trabajar contigo. Sí, sí, sí. Sí, sí, sí. 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 Sí
this is one I've been practicing. I tried to explain them. So there's this, there's this chant. It goes, Loka Samasta Suki no Bhavantu. And what it means is, may all beings everywhere be happy and free. So let me see where I can find it. I've got so many songs in my book now. Okay, here we go. So this is a good prayer. Um, yeah, Gloria is amazing. Um, oh, Debbie, I'm so sorry, honey. You'll you'll be okay. Just with the COVID, it's a time to really take care of yourself and slow down. Just nothing else is important except your health. So this song is for you. This song is for you. The song is for everybody out there. sing it every day you say it every day so you know a lot of times people don't understand the mantras that we're singing at kirtan and the important thing to understand is these are like ancient mantras that have deep meanings like for hundreds of thousands of years and when you sing them you're actually kind of bringing a sort of medicine into your frequency because you're a free you're a vibrational being you know this right you, you, i'm sure you heard this right now and so when we bring in these like these prayerful vibrations we're we're, we're doing work to uplift ourselves you know so yeah, Emma Ho, there you go. Emma Ho, Emma Ho, Emma Ho. Okay, I think Gloria and her cousin are waiting for me. I think we're gonna go now into the village and we're just gonna hand carry these to some of the um, the elderly folks who were not able to, to get here today. So um, if you're sick, if you're suffering, just know it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. And maybe it's a good time to like reassure others who are sick and suffering, you know? That's one way that we can uplift ourselves out of our own darkness, it's by helping others. So, um, bah. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'm really happy to be able to show this to you. And um, like, is that blood on my knee? It's not my blood. Whose blood is that? Okay, it's not blood. Um, Mm. Lisa says, yesterday I was at an event, one of the iceberg questions, what strengthens my faith in humanity? While I was answering that question, I was thinking of this channel and the charity work that is supported by this channel. Awesome. Well, Lisa, we're in it together. We're in it together. Bronco. Bronco's in it. Bronco is so sweet. Bronco is, Bronco is in for the charity work. So guys, thank you again for all your contributions. Thank you for your heart. Thank you for your hope. Thank you for your willingness to take part in humanity's uprising as opposed to contributing to what, you know, brings people down. Like, what do you, where are you going to cast your vote? Where are you going to cast your vibration? Let's, let's choose love, Bronco. Let's choose love. Bronco chooses love. Bronco chooses. All right, guys. Love you all very much. Thanks for being with me, and I will see you guys later. I'm heading to San Marcos after this. I'll tell you why things are about to get a little weird and that's okay because that's part of how you grow Hi, buddy. yeah bethany yes you see okay just you, you've noticed a huge difference since i started to sing and chant mantras with my vibration healing growing expanding journey in fact if you're someone who's going through the darkness i really suggest get some of these mantras like the one i've shared here or om mani padme om or bethany maybe you can share some of your favorite ones or the ones i share them all the time 
literally, it's a kind of medicine for your vibration. So if you're doing that energy work, this is a really good, this is one of those really great tools. And I didn't really understand that until now. Now that, now that I have really stepped into my joy, now it's like, oh, now I get it. I really wish I had been doing this all along. So, Debbie, I'm sending you a big hug. If you have COVID, if Deb, I know Debbie, you tested positive for COVID. If anyone else has, out there is tested positive for COVID, if you're just sick or not feeling good, I hope that you use this time to really rest and take care of yourself. Ask for help where you need it. Be willing to get supported. Remember, you haven't done anything wrong. There's nothing wrong with you. You're just going through a tough moment and it will pass. So use this as a practice to be gentle with yourself. Use this as a practice to, yeah, be kind. And remember that you're in a process. It's not just an event. You're not just gonna get better overnight. It's gonna be a process. So can you, can you move through that process with grace, with dignity, with love, with care, and with the willingness to use this as an exercise to be really kind with yourself and to notice that voice that telling you that you've done something wrong or it should be different and just like give it a break, you know? All right, guys, I love you all very much. Thank you. Thank you for witnessing. Thank you for contributing. Thank you for being a part of this. You are great. We are together. And we are. We are the great rising. Love you.